Yo, yo, yo. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, back at it. I was in Oregon this past week, uh, somewhat on a retreat on vacation at a conference, and today I am checking on the Cat Hoarder House. Now, there's been a lot of updates. Um, home is coming along. Uh, just going to take a peek. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you some of the progress that's been made, tell you what we're still working on, and we're going to go from there. So as you can see, the home looks completely different. Now we had a little bit of an oopsie down here. Um, we actually backed into this corner uh, with the trailer when we were doing the, uh, um, the, the garbage removal and whatnot. So we're gonna have to fix that. It's just a little bit of an oopsie. So that's one thing, as you can see, gotta do a little bit of a paint touch up. As for the color of the home, we painted the outside. Uh, typically these mobile home parks are going to have approved color lists, so they only had like four or five different selections. This is the color that we ended up painting. I still got to do some small touch-ups as you can see, uh, but I'd say 90% of the home is painted. So it's this nice like, almost looks green, uh, gray. As you can see, still, still some touch-ups. Looks like they hit it with the sprayer. All the trash is gone. And actually back here, we had a really gnarly beehive. So when we were removing all the debris back here, one of the guys was stung. And that's when we figured out we had this huge colony of African bees, which apparently are pretty gnarly. It's starting to turn out pretty good. So we'll fix all this. We'll fix the porch over here. Still need to do some paint touch up as you can see. fix the, the porch. Look, you can actually see the inside of the home. It still smells pretty gnarly in there, but we'll get it all sorted out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. I'm a mobile home investor here in Phoenix, Arizona. The goal for June, end of June, by the end of Q2, so have 500 subscribers. It's pretty lofty, I think it's doable. So if you haven't hit the like button, subscribe button, please hit the like button, subscribe button. Okay, just one second, I gotta figure out this lockbox code. Okay, not that. Just a second, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, back at it. So I'm gonna take in a quick tour to show you that the mobile home completely gutted out and we are ready to rock and roll on the re. Okay, so walking into the home, as you can see, there's soft spots right there. Um, damn, it looks like, so the AC unit, turns out that doesn't work. Um, this is still soft right here, so we're gonna have to repair all the wood through here. Just watch my step. Damn, this thing is pretty gnarly, I'm telling you. Um, as far as the gut out, so to remove all the debris, it costed $2,300 to have everything removed. And if you remember, they were doing, um, it was about shoulder high worth of crap. If you haven't seen that video yet, go back, watch that video, it was about shoulder high. Um, as far as, uh, you know, 2,300 bucks, probably could have had it done cheaper, but for the most part, that's not a bad price considering. Um, as far as the actual remodel, so the remodel includes everything. Uh, all the, the cabinets, uh, painting the outside, fixing the porch on the outside. Um, <clears throat> the only thing it doesn't include is I'm going to have to uh, repair the AC unit. But everything else included, it's going to be $27,000. Now, price-wise, might have been able to find someone that's cheaper, but this guy, he does good work. Um, this will actually be the first time that I've used him for a renovation, but I've seen examples of some of the work he's done previously on mobile homes. So I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, cabinets removed. Um, soft spot right there, so it may be leaking uh, in the shower. Man, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. In total, I think I'll probably have about forty to forty-five thousand dollars 
in this deal when it's all said and done. So we got to fix the, the crack in the ceiling. But actually the smell's gone. Uh, last time I was in here, it smelled so bad. You could barely even be in here. It smelled so bad. So for the most part, it's pretty good. There's a couple spots that still stunk a little bit. All the cabinets are out in here. Toilets running, so that's a good sign. Um, for the most part, that tub's okay. Need some door handles. It looks like the, the doors, for the most part, are pretty good. Just need to get painted. So this is Cat Hoarder House. It's coming along, folks. It's coming along. So I think it's probably going to take a month for the rehab. Um, like I said, in total, I'll probably be about $45,000 into this one. Sales price, I should still be able to make some good money, even though you got to place the AC, uh, all the cabinets, all that stuff. So <clears throat> we'll see. Taking you guys along for the ride and along to, to show you all the updates and whatnot. Uh, as always, if you like these videos, guys, please hit the like button, subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, it really helps me grow my YouTube channel. Uh, the more that you guys hit the button, uh, so as always, be safe, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.